two types of girls. I look like her boyfriend, but... <laughs> Okay guys, we are here in Miami. I've never been to Miami before. I'm here with Mackenzie. Oh wait, the lighting's better this way. This, you know, this vlog, we're just having, it's been a rough day. Yeah, we, I, I've spilled every drink I bought so far today. I spilled my Chick-fil-A lemonade on the plane and in baggage claim, I literally spilled my entire water bottle. It wasn't a spill, it was a dump. Yeah, it literally, it just like, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, okay, so literally. <laughs> we have to do this. <laughs> it's not working. Good morning to everyone except Hurricane Elsa. So here is our luggage situation. Mackenzie and I packed a lot. Um, actually, I packed a lot. Mackenzie's is the blue one and mine are the other ones. So I definitely overpacked. I don't know how to pack, but we are here for Miami Swim Week. I'm so excited. I've never been to Swim Week before. So it's going to be so good for influencing and networking for modeling. And I can't wait to see what it's all about. We have so many shows on the agenda. So I will take you guys along with me. Okay guys, we just checked into the hotel. It's literally so cute here. It's called the Redberry and we're staying here all four nights. So it's gonna be really fun. And with this hotel, there's a rooftop pool. We have access to SLS where a lot of the shows are. So I'm so excited. I'll show you guys around a little bit. First thing that I'm doing while I'm here is actually meeting with the modeling agency, so I'm on my way there now. I have on like my white tank and jeans, and I have my book in my bag and my comp cards and everything. I'm gonna put it on the next slide so you guys can see. Okay. So I just met with my first agency. Um, hold on, I just the street. So I just met with the first agency, and he was like, "What other agencies are you meeting when you're down here?" And I was like, "None." And he was like, "Sam, literally, walk into every one." So right now, I'm literally walking around Miami with my book, and I'm just walking into agencies like with no appointment. Um, the first one after that that I tried to go to, they had a big sign on the door that was like absolutely no casting calls. I guess it's because there's a ton of models down here right now for some week. But yeah, so I'm on my way to number three right now. Hopefully I better luck there. The first one, like, I think they liked me. I don't know. You don't know until they email you like the next day. But yeah, here we go. This is definitely like one of the least like or not so glamorous parts about modeling. Like I'm literally walking around Miami right now using like GPS maps. So sweaty, like I'm disgusting. And I'm about to go meet with like one of the biggest agencies in the world. And like, I, I have so much sweat on my face. But yeah, and I have one good tip though actually. So if you're going to meet with an agency on foot, make sure you wear comfy shoes. Like I have like my rainbows on. So wear comfy shoes and then bring your heels. So yeah, it's like kind of awkward. You literally just stand in front of this group of people you've never met before and tell them about yourself, like pitch yourself to them. They take pictures of you in a bikini and then you sit in a room like on the other side of glass where you can see them talking about you and you don't know what they're saying and then they're like, we'll get back to you, thanks for coming. It's like the most awkward experience, but like, oh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Good experience, but awkward. Okay, literally got so close trying to find this one, but I finally found it and here we go. Okay, so I've been to three. First one I got in a meeting. Second one said no casting calls. And the third one, which is like one of the biggest in the world, I was sitting there and the lady called and she was gonna come down and meet me and she was like, oh Sam, do you have an appointment? And I was like, no, I'm just here to walk in. And she was like, sorry, we only do appointments. But I gave them my information and she's gonna possibly call me if she's interested. But I think that at least shows, you know, that I'm motivated because I came in. Whatever, we'll see. But yeah, on to number four. I'm so sweaty and I'm hungry, but you know, gotta chase that dream, right? Agency number four, who I will not name, was not very nice. I rang the buzzer. They did not let me in. <laughs> they said there was no casting calls today, which is fine but they weren't very nice about it. So whatever, I was like, hi, I'm here for swim week and I'm a model, I just wanted to come in and talk to you. And he was like, all our models for this agency are already at swim week. And I was like, 
Okay, well maybe I'm not with your agency yet. Duh, that's why I'm here. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go back to the hotel. I am disgusting, I'm gonna take a shower. I don't know if I explained this yet in the vlog, so I'm going to now. So we're down here for swim week as influencers. So I'm actually with Jules and Mackenzie. Jules is from LA and Mackenzie's from Maryland. I literally just met both of them. I met Mackenzie last night in person and I met Jules today. But I have literally, like, I follow them on Instagram forever and we've always been internet friends, so it's so cool to finally meet them. We've been getting along so well. They're so cool in person as well. But yeah, so we're on this adventure from the 7th through the 11th and we're going to a ton of swimming shows so it's going to be so fun i'm going to take you guys along the entire way like i think we're going to such cool shows too like forever 21 oh poly the whole bit so i'm really excited to network with the models and hopefully agents for modeling and then see all the shows as well okay guys what's up we're about to go to dinner and i'm wearing this two-piece set from red dress i will probably post a picture of my feed so if you want to see it definitely look for it there but before we go out i wanted to introduce you guys to who i am here with in miami this is Jules. Hello. Okay. Wait, you look like really cute together right we now. Do. We do. We have a good combo going on. Okay, yeah, guys, give them your all your details really quick. Okay, for my name is Mackenzie, um, better known as Style by Mackenzie. I am a fashion and college lifestyle content creator. Do YouTube, blog, Instagram, TikTok, the whole nine yards. You can find me at Style by Mackenzie or on YouTube is just Mackenzie Morgan. And I'm the baby of the group. I'm 20. I go to Kent State University. I study fashion merchandising there. And this is my first Miami swim week. I'm excited. Vibes are high. Uh, and my set is from. Um, White Fox Boutique. Ooh, cute. Wow, you have that dumb pet. Jules, I'm new <laughs> to the vlogging life. <laughs> At B Jules, um, I do PR and influencing and content creation. Um, but this is my first Miami week too. I've had plans to go last year, but COVID happened. So I'm super excited about this. <laughs> Good morning, Miami. <sighs> okay, so this is our first morning here. Um, we literally just woke up. It is like, what time is it? Like 9.30. Yeah, we slept like a lot, but I've been up since eight. You have not. Yes, I have. I never went back to bed. I've been on my phone. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. So okay. we actually slept pretty well. And they say this is a queen, but it's, it's definitely not. a full. But We're yeah. definitely canoodling at night because every time I turned over, <laughs> like, right there, and I was like, whoa. Canoodling. Oh my gosh. Today we are going to probably shoot some content in the morning. We're gonna go probably. get breakfast. Probably. We definitely are. Okay, we have to shoot content. We have no choice. Um, we're gonna go get breakfast breakfast and then probably like come back change do a few outfit changes and stuff and then our first show is until eight so we're definitely gonna fill most of the day with content and then yeah but cranking super, it out yeah we are gonna crank it out so we have yeah all right just a little update and good morning this and is gonna be a sick transition of us looking pretty after ready one two three <laughs> heading on the beach right now for some pictures before brunch but look how cool the beach is so blue it's so pretty miami beach is such a vibe it's so cool the water is so calm the water is super calm yeah and like okay there, it is a little dirty because there's a hurricane but literally it's so blue and i don't know the beaches in florida are just a different breed like look how pretty all these hotels have these chairs and stuff for you to sit in and there's so many good photo ops with like lifeguard stamps and stuff i love it okay so we just got lunch and we shot some content on the beach it was super cool it was so hot though so we're getting some like air and coffee and food so yeah here we go Cheers. Okay guys, we came back for an outfit change because we're about to go to the Opali pop-up. I am wearing a glass and dress and Forever 21 hoops and they're gonna give you their outfits really quick and then we're gonna head there and I will show you guys around a little bit. All right, pink dress is Fashion Nova. My layered necklaces are from Shein and then this is Jules' bag I'm borrowing that's from some random place in Tulum. <laughs> <laughs> On the street in Tulum. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, this is Dippin' Daisies. The bag is, um, we don't know, but find something similar to wedding <laughs> favorites. <laughs> And this is Amazon. Yeah, I don't know. I've like low key been the last to get ready every single time. So I've been like trying to rush around. Like you have to watch Mackenzie's vlog too because they're gonna be kind of similar. And like I don't want them to be, but every time she pulls out her camera, it like reminds me to pull out mine. But in hers, I'm like brushing my teeth and stuff. So whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna. Behind the scenes with the teeth <laughs> no, literally. Like it, hers is like everything of me behind the scenes when I'm like not paying attention. But yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we're walking into the Opali pop-up right now. It's in this hotel, the SLS, 
so nice here. So we're currently walking into the Opali pop up. I'm really excited about it. Um, Opali has the best bathing suits, if you didn't know. Definitely, if you're going to like Mexico or something, they are a little skimpy, you know what I mean? But they're really good quality. You know what so. I mean? I am like simply having a Miami heat stroke. Like, do you see me right now? We just got these acai bowls and like we're gonna go sit by the pool and like chill for a little bit because I think like I'm literally, I'm so dehydrated. Like we're having a great time, but like I'm so hot. My back is sweating. Like I need a shower. Like it's not. The Opali pop-up was like, a, it was like good, but uh, there wasn't a lot to shop. We thought there'd be like more shopping and stuff, but definitely like models and stuff. It was cool to see. The next show should be more exciting, we think. But yeah, so that's at eight o'clock. So right now we need to chill for a little bit. Okay, we just shot some content. My bikini is from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys because it comes with this really cute skirt too. But I'm about to jump in the pool because I, like I said, I was having a heat stroke. But we shot a little bit of content and like now we're going to jump in the pool and then we have to shower to get ready for the Shein pop-up. So that'll be cool. Pool area at this hotel is literally so nice. I'll put the hotel link in the bio. <laughs> Do you want to play mermaids? What was your mermaid name? I didn't have like a mermaid name. Really? We had three mermaid names and we would fight over who got them. And I was always Starburst. So we played that game where you would like swim across. Colors? No, no, no. That's, minnows. Yeah, we, would, we only did Sharks and Minnows. We weren't like playing like mermaids and shit, I don't think. I always play mermaids. <laughs> I actually love to swim, like a lot. <laughs> So I'm still doing that 365 day workout challenge, but because we're in Miami, I'm trying to like take it easier, you know, because we're like walking around and doing stuff all day. It's super hot. So my workout today is going to be just a swim, a little swim, you know what I mean? We'll catch up with you guys at the Shein pop-up because after this, we're going to shower, get dressed, and then go. Okay, this is my outfit number three of the day. Four of you count the bathing suit. We're actually on our way to the Shein pop-up. And I just heard Jewel say that we have $150 credit to shop, which is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how cute she looks. Yeah, thanks for the hookup. She has literally all the We're fucking all hookups. We're all wearing something from She's each like other. She's like the coolest. We're all wearing something from each other. Oh she yeah, okay, buddy. This is my dress. Yeah, literally, top. my outfit is totally <laughs> brought to you by not me. Like, this dress is Mackenzie's and this is Jules. And then, yeah, you, what do you have on? Uh, oh, this is Mackenzie's and my shoes are Mackenzie's. <laughs> and then this is Jules. We're all wearing Mackenzie's stuff. I love yeah, that. we're getting to know each other very well over here. <laughs> Coming at you live from the Shein pop-up. It is crazy. There's drinks, there's food going around. There's like a Jordan's, there's donuts. It's so cool. But Jules knows one of the people here and we all have a $150 credit to shop, which is so cool. I'm so excited. Like, this is so sick. Look at what we got. This bag is so big. We have to do a haul later. Get us a shot. Wait, we have to do a haul later, okay? <laughs> Shein today we showed you like some of the behind the scenes. Mackenzie and I are simultaneously vlogging right now and we're gonna do a Shein haul of the stuff that we got. We're home from dinner. It wasn't the best meal I've ever had but it wasn't the worst either. Yeah. Overpriced for what it was but it's fine. For sure. Anyways we're gonna give you guys a little Shein haul yeah. of what we got at the little pop-up. 
starting off i have on this like orange dress underneath my hoodie it's like so cold in here right now so yeah that's why i have it on but the orange dress i really love compliments on it i felt like it was flattering and she got the same one yeah i did i got the same exact dress okay and then show them the shoes because i wore okay, these yeah okay so she it. wore these shoes and i got these with that dress tonight and it looked really good um i'm really excited about these because they're like the little block heel and they have like the tiny straps that are really in right now. Then I got these blue heels because these are a dupe for like, what are they? Bottegas? Um, Bottegas. I don't know. <laughs> no. Our rich friends like were like, oh my gosh, those are, look like it. And I just think they're yeah. cool. I've seen um Juju Havens, like she posted something like this in Italy and I loved it. So I just grabbed them in the blue. And then I also got these little like white mules. If you guys join my pack with me's on Instagram, live like before i go on trips i always talk about how i need like little white shoes yeah, and those they had them and i was like i need to grab them and then i got these like um pink braided slides i just thought these would be really good for summer because i've been wearing a lot of pink recently and they're kind of like a flip-flop feeling i feel like i can wear these with like jean shorts and stuff so i just grabbed these i thought they were kind of cute okay then i got two bucket hats just because i don't know i felt like they were good props for like swimsuit picks um and they were 250 each so like a, i got a white one and i got a black one i kind of should have got the pink and white tie that i wanted. yeah i don't know i just kind of vibe with i hats. have a pink and white tie that i want to use perfect Okay, and then I got these pants. I'm really those excited about these. Like, I don't have very many pants like this. I wear a lot of jeans, and I love that they're lime. Like, I've been wearing a lot of green as well. I'm trying to make my feet really colorful for summer, so I'm probably going to wear these while we're here. Okay, then I got these pants because Sam had them on in the dressing room, and I oh, tried wait, them on and I liked them. So we both got them. They're just, like, yeah. white, like, knit pants that you can throw over a swimsuit. And then I also got, like, this kind of, like, crochet thing that you can throw over a swimsuit. This one, like, has like this fringe along the bottom i actually like pulled it it came with the top and i don't like the top so i didn't get it um i, I, got that I like put this on as like a strapless dress and i think it's really cute as a strapless dress too so we got that I got like this white tie shirt. It's like one of those ones that, you know, crisscross over the boobs that you keep seeing on TikTok. And I got it in green. Yes, she did. Okay. Yeah, we did get it. I don't see the orange other. dress in my thing. I thought I got it though. I also got this orange bikini because like I said, orange, pink, and green have been like my thing this summer. I don't really know. But yeah, it could just like never have enough bikinis. Okay. Then I got this little like chain necklace. And then last but not least, I got these like pink like slides that I don't have right. I don't know where they are right now, but like here's the picture of them. Yeah, they're right here. Oh, they're on the ground. Here. Here they are, guys. <laughs> okay, these little like, you know, they're like kind of ugly. They kind of look like hospital slippers, but like they're comfy and like everyone's wearing them. So I figured I would try it out. Yeah. And then they gave us this like little like goodie bag, like yeah. this gift bag. And in the, it's a good or like it's a good or. It's a good gift bag. There's a swimsuit in it. Yeah, it's like a really good gift bag. Not that I don't, not that I have 800 swimsuits already, but a cute swimsuit. It gave you like one of those like headbands that you wear to do your makeup. A couple of claw clips, like big claw clips, which is kind of nice. And then this little set of, it's like a travel kit, like for shampoo and conditioner. Like I literally, toiletries. I literally bought one of these the day before we left oh because gosh, I no, finally I needed one. Too. And then there it is. And then they also gave us this like makeup brush and it's in this like really big, oh my God, is this a gua sha? Whoa. What? We were just talking about this morning. Yeah, like that's you need so to get crazy. One. We like manifested. This it. is actually like a nice, like big bag. Yeah. I hate toiletry bags that don't fit everything, but this is, you know, yeah. I don't want my toiletry bag to say Shein, but like it's cute. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, wait, I have to finish my haul really quick. Okay, so I also got these orange biker shorts because I was literally thinking about this t shirt that I have. And I was like, that would look kind of cute. I don't even know. Maybe it, it doesn't even have orange in it. With a neon color. No, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. yeah, that would be a super cute fit for me. I guess I didn't get that orange dress. That's kind of a buzzkill, but it's cool. I mean, obviously, That's all this okay. stuff is Come amazing. On. Okay, so yeah, got one in green and then one in pink. And I don't know. I just thought these would be cool with like a bralette and jeans or something, maybe. I don't yeah, know. We'll that figure could be fun. it out. All right, yeah, but that's our haul. We did really good. It was hope so fun. Hope you guys fun. enjoyed. Yeah, Peace, enjoy. comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, we actually right. are showering and going to bed. Yeah, we have like, to go to bed. It's, it's like 1.30. Like yes, yeah, so And late. we have to be up early. Tomorrow. We have so, so much to do bye. tomorrow. So we will check in tomorrow. But see you guys then.
Good morning, Miami. All right, so we came to the beach today to shoot some content. We're gonna shoot a couple bathing suits, and then we have lunch at the Ritz Carlton actually at 12 o'clock. Coming at you live from the beach. Sorry, it's like it's like really humid out, so my camera is like a little foggy. I believe it's hard to see, so I'm not sure. Okay, so Mackenzie and I are shooting right now. Um, I just shot her on these really cute pink chairs, and now we're gonna go over to the lifeguard stand that's like turquoise for me in this pink bikini. So I think that'll turn out really cute too. Okay, I was about to film, but my cat's still playing. So we're gonna have to wait. We have three shows tonight, if you can't hear her. Her and I actually shot four outfits today, that's why I haven't been vlogging a lot, because this is the weather for the next, like, three days we're gonna be here, two days we're gonna be here, is um, raining. So we just wanna make sure we got some outfits in. We got four done, that was good, and we are headed to our first of three shows tonight, and I am wearing, I'll show you, I'll turn around. Long, silky, goodnight macaroon dress. This is my toothbrush holder. Um, and then this bag is goodnight macaroon as well. So okay, we're on our way. We are late, but it's okay. Mackenzie literally can't walk in her shoes. Also, do you see how my camera's fogging up? The humidity here is so crazy that it keeps fogging up the lens, so. So right now we are on our way to show number one. Okay guys. We're in the Jules Uber. is holding the camera because my hands are preoccupied. <laughs> and that is because my dress literally ripped. It it's like one of the ones with the heat my whole back's out. And this top it this strap totally ripped off the side. So like I need to hold it up because I'm not, like I have to go into a hotel like this and be like, well, I, what am I? But I would change your clothes a bit today, but we're we just went to the first so, yeah, show. And I've been we're, sweating we all just day. Went to the like, first I'm show. like not having a glamorous experience right now. We are we just <gasps> I feel like I have a towel on and I just got out of the shower. Like that's how I feel. Yeah, okay, so yeah. as you guys know, the last update was that my dress broke, but Mackenzie fixed me up. She put this like little knot here, and it doesn't look bad. So yeah, she's in fashion. You're school, welcome. So we're also in the slime right now to get into the second show, and it's like pretty long, but and hopefully that means it's gonna be a good signer. But like the show started at eight, and it's eight oh seven, and everyone's still outside. Right, this is the song. <laughs> Okay, so after show number two, we needed a snack before show number three. Okay, show number three is at 9.15, so we are going to eat really quick, go home and change because my dress is broken, and then go to the show, third show. And then maybe after party, but probably sleep because, you know, we got a lot of things to do tomorrow, but people are staring at me. That just makes me nervous. Alright, okay, we got pizza. Let's see what it looks like. But this girl got a whole pizza to herself after she doesn't look like a margarita pizza. It looks like a regular pizza, but yeah. And I honestly haven't really felt that good. And like, I feel like I'm very bloated, but it looks pretty good. Oh, the pizza actually is really good. We think. What do you think? Okay. It's so hot that like I can't even really feel like what I'm tasting. It's a little thin, but the crust is really good. I think. Yeah. Okay, we made a quick dress change and we're on our way to the Opali show. We're literally like usual, so we'll catch up with you guys when we get there. The fashion shows are literally only a six minute walk from our hotel room, which is so convenient. But I mean, they're a six minute walk if you are wearing- Rainbow flip flops. Rainbow flip flops like Mackenzie and I are because our feet hurt so bad from the heels. So we've been wearing flip flops and then changing into our heels when we get to the show because our feet hurt so bad. This is us in live time. The show's right there, we gotta go, okay? <laughs> And they'll walk down the runway right here. So we literally have the best seat, and so everyone comes out before, takes all these pictures and stuff. So she's a model, that girl that's posing right now. She actually was in the show that we watched yesterday. <laughs>
guess so. It just got my picture taken by a lot of photographers, so like as if I'm important or something, but yeah, it was kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we looked for the after party and we like can't find it. Okay, Miami Swim Week is so fun, but it's like very confusing with directions and like what things actually are. When we were invited to drinks earlier, like I don't know, certain events are just not set up well, but certain things are amazing, so it's just like hit or miss. But we're so you, exhausted. Like we are so exhausted. Like we have our flip flops on again. We're literally just like chilling and like trying to get the strength to walk back to the room because we like this is such an it's such a cool weekend but it's such an exhausting weekend so we're back in the hotel and kenzie and i are going to take a midnight dip in the pool so we're heading up there now we have our wine and then we got the elevator door just closed on me because i was recording and she was in the elevator not paying attention but it's cool so i'm gonna meet her up there now <laughs> Come on. okay stop look how cute the hotel looks like so we took some pictures up here earlier when it was so hot, but like I actually took a really cute one right here. Oh my gosh, it's so cool up here right now. The weather's finally so nice because it's laid out. So we're gonna take a dip in the pool really quick. It is sick. Good night swimming. Okay, we're gonna go swimming. There's mascara all over my face, but I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good night, Miami. Good morning. Okay, so I just went to the fitness center at SLS. So at the other hotel, we have access to the fitness center. So I woke up and went to the gym really quick and now I'm gonna take a shower. But yeah, I'm so glad Mackenzie and I took so much content yesterday because it's so gross outside today. It's like everything is stopping wet. It's not raining right now, but it must have rained like all night. So we're probably just gonna chill for a little bit. Mackenzie has a Grubhub campaign that she needs to shoot. So we'll probably do that. And then we have shows and everything later, but I'm really excited because tonight is Sports Illustrated. So I'll definitely need to bring you guys there and we have boo too But I don't know what to do because they're back to back But I think we're gonna go to Sports Illustrated so that way we can make sure that we get good seats I'll keep you guys posted on that. Oh my gosh. I need to wake up. It's 1140 and I'm so exhausted We've been going non-stop so Mackenzie just got ready to go down and take her picture and like she's all ready And I still look like this because I just I just need a second like like I said We shot like four or five outfits yesterday and I feel like we've just been running around crazy So like I don't know and it's pouring outside anyway so i've just been chilling but i like really need to step it up and get my shit together because we only have now like 24 hours left to, no, no no we have like a day and a half left here but still you know what i mean i don't want to waste the day as well we're here so okay i went to go get coffee and the line was too long so i got ice cream instead but yeah hold on i gotta get napkins though Okay, hey guys, what's up? I just got ready. I actually already shot the first outfit, which I will be wearing to Sports Illustrated tonight. I will show you guys that when I put it back on, but for right now, I have this outfit on, and we are gonna go downtown and shoot for a little bit, and then we're actually gonna head to the Versace Mansion because Boohoo is having their fashion show there, so I think we're gonna check that out a little bit, shoot some content there, see if we can do the Boohoo show before Sports Illustrated, and then we'll see how it goes. So yeah, we're just waiting for everyone to get ready, and then we're gonna head out and shoot a little more. Okay, guys, we are literally in such a rush. We are on our way to Boohoo. Boohoo, we're on our way to the Versace Mansion. I feel like I'm so not cool enough for that. I also feel like my dress is like, uh, I gotta make sure I keep myself covered or I will like maybe end up in a magazine, but like not for the right reasons. Um, okay guys, what's up? We're back in the hotel room right now after our first show. <laughs> after our first show, we're back in the hotel room right now. So we went to go shoot some content. Then we went to go get some chips and guac. Then we went to one show with four designers. It was pretty cool. A lot of cheetah print I saw. Honestly, this was the first one I saw that didn't have like string bikinis. All the other ones have had like no coverage at all. And These what ones else had really seen? real bodies though. So Cellulite, yeah. small butts no, for like, three girls. Like it was actually kind of refreshing because yeah, these I was feeling pretty bad good. about myself uh, after yesterday. So. Yeah, like after we saw all of Polly, because you know they all have like the biggest butts I've literally I ever seen. I gotta start washing. Look at my gua sha. Side well, look at my. Okay, side so I've been telling Mackenzie that she needs to gua sha because like I've been gua sha every day and she thinks that like my she, I don't know. I think just look. No, Mackenzie, stop. <laughs> So let's talk about the trends that we've been seeing. We've been seeing a lot of animal print, tiger yesterday, cheetah print today, and then we saw a lot of corset jackets. We saw a lot of moto, like leather, but nothing any different than we really have been seeing. So it's kind of the same, but a lot of sustainable um, swimwear, which has been really cool. We There were some Colombian designers and pretty much all of them were sustainable. And last night at Upali, like we were saying, obviously those girls, like when you go on the website, like it's a very unrealistic body type. But besides that show, all the other shows, a lot of the girls had like very, 
very realistic figures. No one was really a size two. They were like muscular, there was cellulite. It was very realistic girls, which was nice, you know? And they were short too, which was cool. So like a lot of girls at Swim Week are different than I think past has been. But yeah, so right now we're on our way to Boohoo at the Versace Mansion. And then we're hoping we can make it in time for Sports Illustrated right after, so we'll have to stay. Okay, so we tried to go to Boohoo and it was at the Versace Mansion, but like it was more just like literally a party. Like it was like a banger type situation. Like it was just all people just like trying to drink and stuff. So we're on our way to Sports Illustrated. We didn't go in because we just kind of want to make sure that we can see that. Okay, so I'll keep you posted. We're going straight to there to make sure we can get in and get good seats because Boohoo was a bus. Okay guys, we just got into Sports Illustrated and I'm literally so excited. I follow Haley Khalil like so heavily. If you don't know who she is, she won half of Sports Illustrated last year here. Her and Camille Costick did. So she's going to be here and all the prospects for Sports Illustrated 2021 as well. And look how cool. It's literally like this is the stage. It's like in the middle of the pool. It's so cool. I can't believe this. Okay, so we're at Sports Illustrated. We're like yawning in this guy. No, we can't. I'm not tired. Okay, so look, we're all like cushy, like big towel beds and things. Okay, and then look how crazy. The skyline is amazing. And everyone's like sitting on like these bed type things. It's really chill. I'm so excited. This is literally like a dream. We are ending the last night of Miami swim week at Cheeseburger Baby. And we are getting burgers and fries, and it's gonna be the best. Here we go. We're gonna make Jules eat fast food because she doesn't like it. Guys, nobody knows you on your vlog. Let me introduce myself. Okay. I'm, I'm a bougie girl. Jules I'm is cheap. super bougie. She's from LA. And all you guys know, I'm literally a Jersey girl. I don't pump gas, but like, that's the only, like, yeah. you guys know how I am. And Jules is like Beverly Hills to, to the max. So we took her to Cheeseburger Baby. <laughs> okay, so Cheeseburger Baby had a very long wait. So literally, we're making Jules eat Five Guys. Look at this. Five Guys is right here. Cafe de Moor is here. And Jules was like, Cafe de Moor. And we were like, no, Jules, we're going to Five Guys. Jules is eating Five Guys. Jules is eating eat Five Guys. If they're close, I'm gonna freak out. They're open. Uh -huh. Cafe de Moor. Okay, so we actually just checked out and we're gonna head back up to the pool though to grab a few more photos before we leave. I know she's so much tanner than me. I haven't been like laying out at all really in the summer yet. Today we just checked out, like I said, and then we're gonna go get something to eat, I think. And then just no, walk around. No, we 100% are getting something to eat. We want like a big breakfast, like a brunch type thing with potatoes or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna miss our little rooftop at this hotel. It was literally so nice up here. My camera's fogging up right now because the humidity is so bad. Here's some behind the scenes. Mackenzie's getting some fire pics of Jules right now. How cute is Jules set? Jules, you said it's from Pretty Little Thing? Yeah. Wow. Killing it. So this is basically what we've been doing. We've been like taking shots for each other and rotating and it's been working out really well. I've like loved the pictures they've taken of me and I think I've gotten some good ones of them. So yeah, 
Yeah. Gonna miss you, Miami. It's Miss Mackenzie's turn. She's <laughs> turning up the heat in here in this neon bikini. Look at that! Ooh, that is see. a fire picture! Oh my <laughs> gosh! That's gonna get so much love. Look at her. She's doing good. I need to take notes from Mackenzie. So She's the real YouTuber in the group. But I'm like trying to learn. I'm trying to do a good vlog for you guys. But look at how cool Jules looks right now in this cabana. She's literally killing it. <laughs> Actually though, she looks so good in here. So we all actually shot content in here and it looks so good. I'm really excited. I didn't want to come up here really because we were leaving and I don't know, we were gonna get food and stuff. Mackenzie was like, let's just go up there and shoot in the cabanas. And I'm so glad she said that because the pictures ended up turning out so good. Like peep jewels right now, literally model status. And Mackenzie's like really good at actually directing as far as posing. Cause she's been like taking pictures for like six years, which is actually a lot longer than me, even though I do modeling. Yeah, she's good at the poses. She's not really good at taking my photo though. And it's so funny because I'm not really good at taking hers either. And I think it's because I'm 5'7 and she's 5'2. So we both have very different angles on what we think looks good. Well, and uh, the only people that take my pictures are 5'2. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like I'm at a five inch higher height than she likes her picture taken and she's like a lot lower or I don't know how she holds it because I usually shoot on my tripod so you think it will be the same but I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna keep shooting right now. We're gonna go get food and everything and I'll catch up with you guys later. Literally the Redbury, it was so great. I would recommend it to anyone. It's like a really cute boutique hotel and like you can see this rooftop. You can't beat it. All right, love you guys. Literally, I don't know what's wrong with my wardrobe. I just put the skirt on and the zipper's busted. And I literally like can't get it off. Like it just stuck like this. So I'm just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to deal. It can't come, it won't come off. So I'm just gonna cover it with my bag. We're still gonna walk around. Probably still gonna shoot it. Probably gonna have to cut it off to get the skirt off, but it's okay. That little neon sign says too many is never enough. <laughs> And we're about to go grab lunch now. The Uber driver was like, do you have masks? <laughs> the only mask I had was my sleep mask. And bananas. And this bandana for Jules, because I was not going to give her this thing. It's going to my face. And I literally cannot, there's no oxygen flow in this thing. Mackenzie, I don't know where I'm asking for the plane, bro. <laughs> You have the new Gigi hoodie? Oh shit. So now my pants oh, are, but I did change my pants. I changed my pants in the luggage department <laughs> where I changed my pants because there's no bathroom in our hotel lobby. I had to change my pants where they stored the luggage in our hotel room. So now I have this, this eye mask on my mouth and like by the time we get to this place, it's like a nice establishment. I'm going to literally look like a hobo. Great time. Lots of mems. So beautiful here. We're at Malibu Farms right now to get something to eat. Lunch time. Okay guys, we just got our luggage and we're about to leave. Jules is about to leave for her play and she just wrote us these cute little cards. I can't wait to read it. So we got lunch, we went to the beach for a little bit, we just got our luggage and we're about to head back to the airport. I'm so sad to go home and like leave these girls, but hopefully we'll be together for New York Fashion Week, so I'll keep you posted on that. We will. Yeah, we will. We will be going to New York Fashion Week together, so I'm super excited about that and that's in September, so stay posted. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Stay posted did not sound good. Okay, I look, I need to, all right. Okay guys, what's up? We are in Mackenzie's room. Hi. So we got home at like 3 a.m. from the airport and Mackenzie lives in Baltimore and I stayed here because we got in so late. My car is here and I'm about to drive home. But yeah, this trip was really, really good. It was so fun. I'm so glad I got to meet her and Jules. We had like a really great time actually, like a really, really good time. So everything ended up really good and um, we're definitely gonna plan something else again. So you will see Mackenzie And it definitely again. won't be a vacation in Miami, just so you know. Yeah, we're not, like, okay, Miami was great. <laughs> To an extent, it was not what we expected. I mean, swim week was amazing. Miami in general <laughs> was, it's like one of those places where I feel like it might be a little overhyped, but we also made, might we be. didn't see everything. So might be, it was. It was, it was, it was. overhyped in our opinion. And the food was just The food was extremely expensive. expensive. I got a burger yesterday and they charged me $4 to put lettuce and tomato on it and I didn't even ask for tomato. And they still just put it on there and charged me two more dollars. And, and, then, like, and then the total was $70. <laughs> yeah, for two burgers that we got yesterday. Well, anyway, I'm really sad because we've like literally spent like the last five days straight together so it's goodbye but okay thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you guys next time and you will see mackenzie again on here too bye but, everybody bye